one of the good things about um, working in a corporate company is get, get to travel around the world free of cost. Airlines know this and they want to fuck with me. I, I go to the counter, Chennai to Bombay flight, Spice Jail, I, I go to the counter, give my uh, print out of the ticket and she's like, Sir, welcome to Spice Jet. Would you like to upgrade to Spice Max? I'm like, uh, wait, who, uh, uh, first tell me why do you sound like you're having an orgasm? <laughs> I'm like, sir, it's uh, called customer service. I'm like, you keep talking like that, I might actually need some service. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, sir, you want Spice Max? What is this Spice Max? <laughs> sir, it gives you extra leg room. <laughs> I'm like, sure, yeah, that sounds good, yeah, I'll take that. You have to pay 500 rupees extra. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, I like keeping my knees bent like this for three years. No, thank you. When I get out of the flight, I want to look like Stephen Hawking. Like, that's the look I'm going for. When you give the boarding pass, they circle the ticket number like this huge round. It's almost like the school teacher right, circling the mistake in an answer sheet. Like, I'm the mistake on the flight. Yeah, and I get out of the flight because I'm traveling on business. There's something called a pre book meal that comes with the package. They're not sitting at 9B, but they don't straight come to me and give the food. They're like, he's a corporate traveler, let's fuck, fuck with him. Okay. Uh, we start from the first row. Uh, Mr. Lingalaj, Mr. Lingala, Mr. Langaya. I'm like, it's me, please, come here. I'm here. By that entire friend, like, Gacho, who's this guy ordered food on the flight? <laughs> And when the food arrives, it's nothing great. I open it up, it's like this weird food, like a sandwich, a vada, and a good day biscuit. <laughs> like whatever food the pilot's dog refused to eat the previous night. It's like pilot like Jimmy, eat. Jimmy, Jimmy like, mm, no, mm, no. Okay, give it to that passenger in 9B. <laughs> Free with me. And airlines have the safety announcements, right? Right before you take off. Life jacket below your seat, oxygen mask above, wear your seat well, na 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 na. All they need to say is sit tight, don't fuck around. <laughs> Nobody gets her. That's it, that's all they need to say. But they keep going on and on and on and on. They're like, look at this card, look at this card, don't look at my tits. <laughs> Indigo Airlines has this announcement that has nothing to do with flight safety. Where they tell you the names of all the air hostesses. <laughs> the cities they're from. The languages they speak. You know how excited all the engineers on the flight become? <laughs> Welcome to Indigo Airlines. Today our air hostess are Neha, Shivani and Poonam. Neha, oh one second, uncle you have one paper, one pen. <laughs> Neha is from Delhi, Delhi, okay nice. She speaks Hindi, English and Punjabi. Punjabi, my mom likes that. <laughs> please have a pleasant flight. I'm like, oh, uh, phone number, Neha, where's your phone number? Name you're giving, where you're, please, please, I want the phone number. I'm like, air hostess, sir, sir, please be seated, please put your belt on. And your seatbelt. <laughs> Guys, like, you can't do this. You're giving me the name, where she's from. You're not giving number, you're taking off. No, 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 I want the phone. He's like, sir, the flight doors are not open. Please be seated. What not open, madam? One opening. I just want one opening. Just give it to me, one opening. <laughs>